uh, investable, if nothing else, natural gas, which a lot of people know about. Water and timberland may be less so. Mm -hmm. What is it about this space that's attractive to you in those two areas in particular right now? Right. Um, I'll preface anything by saying that we're we're very much long-term oriented. So when we buy, we like really do have a three to even up the 10-year time horizon when we're buying stocks. So even though the market has run up, we think we're finding reasonable valuations in these areas. Uh, natural gas in particular because uh, of the new technologies that enable us to really build out our infrastructure going forward for natural gas through the shale gas phenomenon. And um, areas there, it gives us, well, what it does is gives us a, uh, a low cost advantage globally. And also uh, the gas is being uh, used more and more in transportation as well. So, so what companies mm -hmm. then? Yeah, so the companies we like, there are sort of three ways. Um, the pipelines obviously transport gas around the country. We think they generally benefit of increased usage over time. So not big bang for their buck right away, but I think you get good div div dividends and uh, steady growth over the long term. So we like Williams in that area. Um, I think they yield about 4% right now. Uh, other companies we like, Quanta Services, uh, they benefit because they build out the pipelines. They also do transmission build outs as well for utilities. But one of their big businesses is building out pipelines or hooking up gas to new plants that are being built, like an ethylene plant, things like that. Uh, the third way is you can just own the gas outright that's in the ground, the exploration and production companies. Um, Southwestern Energy is, an air, is, a, is a company we like there. They have uh, extensive uh, gas in the ground and they're uh, importantly a low cost operator.